What's up YouTube, it's Eli here again. Uh, we're at Slam Enough today and we got a new project for you guys. Well, once again, it's not really a new project, but anyways, we're basically going to reupholster or redo the trunk setup inside of the Slammed Enough Civic, which would be the Civic that you guys know the most. It's It was purple, now it's baby blue used to be red in the very beginning but yes we're redoing that trunk setup and we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride let's go inside Doo -doo 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 -doo. so we're getting ready to put these on that no, yes we're gonna put these on that no, we're not. yes we are those are gonna be uh, basically a new daily setup so that the boss doesn't have to run fucking this crazy ass what the hell is wrong with your wheel type of bullshit is this but anyways yeah we're getting ready to well Brandon's getting ready to take these off hell yeah damn <laughs> It's just high as, that's the highest I've ever seen this damn car. Well, you should see my spacers once you lose the wheels. Hey, so for this setup, we're just gonna still leave the two inch spacers on for now. Cool deal? Alright. I don't even know if you're gonna take everything off of it. Yeah. I still can't get to it. Hmm? <laughs> so I still can't get to it. Mm -mm. I think you're supposed to go into two pieces of wood. What do you think, Eli? Why don't you try to jack it up from the front? Tell him to get the other. Tell him to grab the other jack. Jack it up a little bit from the front here, so that way you can get that jack on the bottom. So for what? Get the other jack. Slide it under there. Jack it up a little bit from the front, so you can get that jack to the bottom. Yeah. It's the only way you're gonna save it. Save it. Is this a good jack for you? Well, just to pump it up a little bit to get this one under it. Ocean violation! <laughs> yeah, everybody always does that. <laughs> if you have a jacket and you don't do it, you ain't the car guy. So drive jacket at the carbon fiber? No. You go to a part of the <laughs> sub. Don't do it! Go to a part of the subframe and jack it up. I need a subframe, I took it off. Go somewhere where you can jack it up. Oh daddy. I see what you're talking about now, Dad. There's the damn camera guy coming in to save the damn day. Camera guy don't do shit. TikTok all day. <laughs> Can't even spell right like Doug said. This is broke. Who jack is this? Come on, keep going. He just needs to get it under there a little bit. All right, Brandon. You're going to have to start getting under there. I don't think it. Yeah, it's going up. It's going up. It is? Yeah. I feel like it's not doing it. It's going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Brandon. Oh, yeah. oh, Brandon. Yeah. Oh, Brandon. Oh, yeah. He's under. See? I mean, we can go under. It's when you start jacking it up. It's when it hits the carbon fiber piece. Feel good? I need some easies for work like him. I got these dad shoes. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can't beat my dance moves. <laughs> oh, dance off! <laughs> All right. Holy shit, I heard something. I heard it. Sound like you farted. Oh my god, why did you jack it up right here? It is so dangerous. It's so dangerous. Where did I think my rap while you're here? Alright. You like the hood? You like the hood? You like my hood? It looks pretty good. Let's go pill. <laughs> you know Brandon, you still have the Brandon tag. Got some you still have the tag on your hat. That's the style. <laughs> in case you want to return it. <laughs> 
Don't tell. <laughs> don't tell you. Don't let them know that. Fifteen day return. Make sure you ship it back. <laughs> they'll come to a show two weeks later. Hey, that's a fifteen day return. We're trying to return it back. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking to you? I'm sure this one coming too. Let's get. Started. Here's the difference in hats. Don't make sure you don't return it like this. Old, new. Yeah. Old, new. Here's the bottom. Ew, All black now. Dude, that's your dirty hell, cousin. I mean, that's how you know you've been working on cars. Let me see your hat. You've been working on cars. Let me see your, <laughs> let me see your hat. It ain't dirty. It's a dirty. brand new Yankee fitted, bro. Uh -huh. It's a brand new, no, boy. It ain't brand new. Yeah. That's how you know he doesn't do any work. I don't. <laughs> but I did save your ass there. <laughs> All right, what happened? Have you even seen the old trunk set up yet? What's up? No, Brandon hasn't opened it up yet. Oh yeah, I opened it for He's gonna open the damn trunk for us finally. Alright guys, I guess we're gonna see what the fuck this shit look like. Don't look at it! Oh my god! Ah! What else see my boxers? Oh, look, boxers! That's amazing, bro. Why is it red? This was my first ever basic all set up. This is what I told people. Like, look, I'm a paint with black. Look at look how nice it is. Ugh. So when, when people would come in, can I see your setup? I'm like, Ugh, okay. Yeah. It looked just like this. Of course, they would be like, uh, is there anything else you want? Like, nope, that's all I know. <laughs> but now that we're getting into rear upholstery because of Brandon, we're gonna make it look nice. Oh, don't do that. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, so, YouTube. We're just basically going to use that. So. We're basically taking that wood out and the whole little box and cleaning the box up and reupholstering that box. So, stay tuned. I like saying stay tuned. I'm still recording, so it doesn't matter anymore. We don't have to keep saying stay tuned. Because by the time you record it again. Stay tuned. Like, stay tuned. This car, this car, this car, this car. Because it'll be two seconds later before the other clip comes in. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Sorry. Don't show my power, man. Sleeper. That needs work too. Definitely stay tuned for that. What the fuck is that? Hell yeah, double stacks for the win, brother. It is not safe. It's safe enough to drive 40 minutes out. I'm not drifting in it, it's all good. It's just a slow suit. I don't even have these there. 118 it does, but it's only 118 horsepower. It's good to me. 118 horsepower. He did oh, his. Raw power. So as you can see here behind me, Brandon's doing the outline on the board that is going to go in the trunk. Once he gets that outline done, basically he's just going to cut it all out. We're going to fit it in to make sure there's no trimming needed. And then once it's all squared away, we're going to get ready to wrap up the fabric. Hey, what's up guys? We're back in the shop today and we're upholstering the back piece that's supposed to sit down here. I'll show you guys. All right, the back piece that's supposed to sit right here. We're also going to have two little end pieces, I believe. But uh, yeah, uh, the upholstery part is pretty simple. You know, this is the piece of wood that Brandon's been cutting out and you normally need almost 100% of the time two people to do it because you have to stretch the upholster each way so there's no wrinkles um, and basically trying to cut it the right ways on each side so you can stretch it the right way but uh, we got everything done so far we're just cleaning it up right now and we're gonna place it down I'll let you guys see how that's gonna look in a few all right so we got it dropped down in and it looks pretty fucking cool so what Brandon did was pretty cool he left he cut out a little hole the wood from here and basically you left it so that way obviously you can pull it up and still be able to get to all your wiring and your your basically your management and everything at the bottom so it was pretty cool now if i'm not mistaken brennan you're going to do each side too each little side or no in the future all right well but for now i mean you guys gotta just i mean look at how nice that looks 
That is like a very simple, but a little bit more custom of a trunk set. Looks great. Looks very, very, very good. Hope you guys like that. Yeah, but I mean, shit. Buying the fabric yourself. All you gotta know is how to cut wood. If you cut wood, you just gotta buy some plywood. Measure some two by fours, get the box made, get that plywood measured out and cut. And a staple gun to staple the stuff down and pretty much you voila. But it looked good. Till next time. On the trunk sit up.